just like that. with Tony Parker, who was in that. That now we can get to what that spaces was about. Tony Parker played at UCLA uh, with Kyle Anderson and them. He was a part of their big. He was very. He was a McDonald All American, if I'm not mistaken. So I know you think about Tony Parker with the Spurs, but it was a big man played for the, the uh, UCLA. I came in. It was him, Rashad Phillips. I don't know if y'all are familiar with Rashad Phillips. He's the guy that. There's a lot of progressive basketball stuff. So he came, he got his own like posi- positional dic- dictionary. I've seen that guy that said this, Chris Paul's the best point guard in the league because this player's a sh- not a point guard, but it's yeah. like seven. He got like 15 different positions. Exactly. Oh. Um, I agree with a Archetype lot of stuff he says. Thing. Basically. And I like some of his theories and thought-provoking basketball takes. I'm not with the position thing because I think the game needs to be as simple as possible and not 17 right. positions. Just get rid of positions completely. We yeah, don't just, need 17 you know, of them. Um, but, yeah, and they, they were discussing the difference between a basketball player and a hooper. Mm-hmm. And I missed it, but Tony Parker was saying, like, Rashad had a list of players that he wasn't considering hoopers. And it was, like, great players. Like, Tim Duncan isn't a hooper. He's just, like, a basketball player versus, like, a Durant who is, like, is a, a hooper. A hooper. I, saying, see, like, I, like, I can understand that. But what Tony Parker was saying was he understands that there is a difference. Right. It's a different place. That it's like I wonder what it's it even like. more like if when you think of Hooper, you think of more of like a swag to it. Like he got. But that what type he was saying bounce. is Tony Parker, which I agree with. He was saying like, bro, once you hit a certain level and you can get off like sixty points in the NBA, like Clay did. How the fuck aren't you a Hooper? Yeah, you can get hooper. your shit off anywhere. This yeah. is the hardest place because mm-hmm. then they brought up Quinn Cook, and Quinn Cook was like, bro, I know y'all watch Clay Thompson and he does what he does for the Warriors, but I completely know for a fact that if i take him to my hood gym what we what we play at i, I think quinn cook is from like baltimore he's gonna fuck Sierra. them up he, he said starts- he's gonna get his shit off <laughs> so tony parker is saying bro a hooper is a nigga that you put anywhere in the fucking world and he's getting his shit off mm-hmm. anywhere mm-hmm. isn't that so, like most nba players that's like that's tony parker's all point. nba players if, yeah, yeah if you're in the nba right now tim duck is going anywhere and he's that's what he's saying you can't say a hall of fame player isn't a hooper nigga that's right, his right. point he was saying there are differences which you was going to get into and yeah I, heard, I can see that on the high school level like we had people on our team that were maybe basketball players they were hoopers yeah like you know no, what I'm for saying? sure that they play by the system those are the guys that coaches love mm-hmm. yeah you know what I'm i can even see to a lesser degree they started talking about names like jr smith brandon i mean uh, brandon jennings you know what name I'm gonna name next? Brandon Knight, Marshawn Brooks. Mm-hmm. But he was saying like, you know, bro, those, those are, he's saying those are hoopers. Th- those are the people that was hoopers, and he was like, I could see certain points with them, but these other guys, Tim Duncan, Clay, these are Hall of Fame yeah, players. No, he's right. wild. He's wild. Just because Tim Duncan ain't tapping motherfuckers with Duncan, no people. Just because that motherfucker using glass. That every was another time. Th- yeah. another yeah. thing Tony Parker was bringing up. Like people will be thinking of things with an, an aesthetic because it ain't like. Behind the bat, you yeah. know what I mean? It's like mm-hmm. so. I, I, it was a cool conversation. And they was at Perkins was in that. They was like Perkins, do you think you're a hooper or a basketball player? He was like, I'm not no hooper, because Perkins kept saying like, bro, when the season is over, I was a part of the thunder. We're like, oh, the season, we finna go on vacation. That nigga KD can't get away from the game because that he's yep. a hooper. Perkins said, if I'm in my bed late at night and niggas call me about a run, I'm wiggling and my that, toes and, going and to that's bed. Why I be Kevin telling, bro, and up. that's why I say me and P be ready. We just told D Mills, oh, we finna go hoop. <laughs> so you're saying you're a uh, hooper? Yes. I, th- I think we had this conversation yeah, we before. Did. And, and, we did. So, and I'm not no damn NBA player, obviously, but mm-hmm. to a less degree, like, I seen somebody else see it, but it's literally like you live, breathe, you sleep for, for, You're saying for a normal person, you're a hooper? Yeah. Okay. And for me, when, when our, the thing, I guess for a normal person he is, but when I think of hooper, like in a normal world mm-hmm. or like how we are it's niggas that know that's what you know for doing just right. like a rapper i don't consider myself a rapper because if i go out niggas know flex as a rapper yeah. i rap because it's something i'll do but niggas right. don't know they may, may they may know me now but it's because i have a platform i'm not the type of but it's not your funny. shit that you mainly doing it's not exactly. like i mean if i'm we go around our neighborhood where we all grew up in a school people gonna know me from oh p used to hoop he right. made every team we was on he was just he mm-hmm. started all of the years he was you know what i'm saying like he was at the court giving you know what i'm saying like that's a part of the thing but i do understand what you're saying yeah yeah you will anytime somebody asks you to play it could be hoop. it could be five in the morning so y'all hit me up and i'm trying to go hoop hell yeah I'm i don't be consider there and I'm myself be that's a fact a hooper right now i consider mm-hmm. myself a former hooper because i do more podcasting and youtube video right. that's my priority mm-hmm. i don't look at the gym 
know what I'm saying? A hooper is that during a pandemic, them niggas were still hooping. <laughs> pandemic, still there, I wasn't. <laughs> yeah. I'm a former hooper. That ain't a part of my life no more because they don't pay my bills. I don't look at it the same. That's facts, though. You know what I'm saying? So I was one of those people that was thirsty as hell to get back in the gym. Though. Yeah. I would be like, bro, I but can't I, wait till they I wasn't risking nothing. I think that's the part Perkins was kind of making like, Kevin Durant can't get away from the game. That was that was like the main reason I was getting my vaccine. I was like, I want to make sure I'm good, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even, like you don't even really hear Kevin Durant like having like a girlfriend or kids or nothing like that. So like he literally just put his heart and soul in basketball. That's why he always had his. I don't even know if his bio is still like that, but it's just like I do me and I hoop chill, or something. I yeah, me, I chill, I hoop. Yeah, yeah. Which I feel him, but yeah, <laughs> that's, that's yeah, mm-hmm. that's clean. But I do think there's differences between basketball players and types. But I do agree with Tony Parker where he was saying like, yeah, once you hit a certain echelon. Of being an MVP mm-hmm. or a fucking Hall of Fame player, you're a hooper. Dog. Yeah, that's like, why. Do you think that's NBA actually. players have these type of conversations, like amongst themselves? Like they're in like a different category than us, so like they yeah. might look at some players and think like, "Oh, he's I not a hooper." I definitely think they do because now that's different. Me trying to say Giannis ain't a hooper is different than James Harden. Yeah, he's fucking. I, yeah. he's, he's. I mean, I just it's the same player. thing as like if we're at the gym watching our other peers. They're not professional athletes, but they're yeah. kind of around like you know our, our, our yeah, yeah our level. We could be like. He getting a bucket, but he said, we'll live with that shit. Exactly. We, they probably do you, the same thing. Me and you on a court, we all playing as friend group. You scoring me? Yo, that's a fucking bum. Yeah. A, a random person in the gym can't talk to you like that because you you like, nigga, you're not even qualified. If a fan was like, <laughs> damn, bu- uh, d you a bum, P bust your ass, you going to be like, hold up. Don't don't get it confused with P talking shit to me. That's, we that, bro. That's how I but be, bro. But motherfucker, you on a sideline and I will bust your ass. You not Literally. qualified. Anybody to talking to me, no me see me hooping, they like, oh, he can't. Please play me one on one. I will bust your ass. <laughs> you feel me? So yeah, like, like people was in my comment section saying I didn't jump on the contest in your picture. Oh no, you didn't. You didn't though. But I was like, I got a good contest. Like I kept him in front of me and I got a good. How contest. many of them they think is fucking with you on that court? Yeah, that, that's yeah I was like, I wanted to respond to something like you can get clamped right now. <laughs> but I was just like, you know what? Shit, some shit just ain't even That's worse. why I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't really, like, I, I talk shit to y'all, but I always tell people, like, bro, don't get it fucked up, like, <laughs> because you see me crack a joke on D-Mill, like, people, I've cracked a joke, obviously, we be cracking on D-Mill sometimes, the most, you set yourself up for it, but then somebody will DM me with a joke that they think they gonna crack, and I'm finna be like, ha, 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 and I've been like, bro, no, that shit is not funny, that's my <laughs> homie, like, I can say shit, <laughs> but we don't know you, don't, yeah. motherfuckers send me, like, Stanley from the office, this D-Mills, and I had to tell a nigga once, I remember specifically, that's not funny, like, why, he, <laughs> I asked him, like, why, because he black, like, that's not funny, like, we don't know you, whenever so a big dude goes viral on the internet, I get tagged immediately, <laughs> That one dude that was barking or whatever, Bro, that motherfucker, that that motherfucker, like motherfucker looked like you. Definitely. <laughs> now, when they accurate in their jokes and it's funny, I got to give them they love. Because that shit Bro, you know, remember, I hate when they barking. Do you remember uh, it was after that one-on-one? Somebody had put that comment on one of the posts because he was like, damn, where D. Mills at or some shit? And he had put that post from the Boondocks. It's Riley. He like, man, forget this bullshit, man. That shit was so <laughs> fucking funny because they were saying they let you, you let them down. And he took the poster <laughs> off. and t- oh. That shit was so hilarious, bro. <laughs> that shit was so hilarious. That shit was so hilarious. Oh my god! But yeah, that's that was pretty much the premise of it. It was it was good to hear some of them guys, man. Because I, I I grew up wa- like watching. I remember Tony Parker being a part of that UCLA recruiting class, and mm-hmm. yeah, he was saying he was saying like he think Kyle Anderson is a hooper. He don't think Shabazz Muhammad. I don't know if y'all remember him. Hell yeah. I remember Shabazz. Oh, so he don't think Shabazz Muhammad was a hooper. Yeah, but he said I think I think Kyle Tom- Kyle Anderson is, and that. that I respect hearing shit like that because this is a guy who's seen them dudes every day in oh, practice. Oh, they were on teams, right? Okay. Yeah. So I, it's I like, don't know. When I look at Sebastian Muhammad, I thought he was a hooper, but he know he would know better than he me. Was all right. He was alright. He's cool. He seemed like a dude that can get hella buckets. His ass is just stronger than everybody. He, he lied about his age. Yeah, that's my older. thing. He lied about his age. He a liar. I forgot about. He's yeah. a liar. So <laughs> I don't really look at him as a too? hooper because he ain't got no bag. Who? He was just Buddy Hill. No, nah, they just messed up his. Uh, they messed up his papers. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, he Buddy Hill even came out and said, "No, nah, I ain't lying. Nobody just said it right. I just didn't correct them or something like that." I'm like, "Okay, whatever." They they instantly changed. His, I don't his like phenomenon. that age shit because, bro, if y'all if they gave me an extra year to play against younger people, like in high school, a year gap is a big it's a, deal. That's a real thing. Bro, man. when I used to play AAU, there used to be adults playing like <laughs> against teenagers. They would lie about their age and they would play in like. 17 and 16 new games that like was, we would be out there going against grown ass men there was a tiktok that i saw and so like i see them often like here's a sign for you and your boys to team up and make an aau team 
and people are tagging me in the comment section. I'm like, bro, I'm 24. My friends are 23, 24, 26. We can't sign up to a fucking AAU thing. And somebody's like, only thing you need to do is shave your beard. They won't. They're not IDing you. Yeah, I, I, I guess they still. Remember not. when we went to EJ thing? I bro, was like, I was, I was asking my pops like, how old? Yeah, is them motherfuckers. Was was old. I was just, yeah, bro. I was just talking beard. to my friend at the gym earlier. Like I used to hoop with him at at the Y. He's like, yeah, I be coaching now, and bro. These motherfuckers be 13, 12, like 6, 8 and shit. They be big as hell. So they go, they go know. They gonna bro. believe it. They gonna be like, man, they just I think I could pass for 16. Some shit. What you could probably pass every time me and Dana. You can pass go for out, a 14 year old, right? If they you, ask if you get it right. I will, so 